Superman is one of the greatest and most iconic comic book heroes of all time. Partly because, unlike Gotenks, Jason and Jaina Solo, and Flurry Heart, he manages to be both supernaturally better than everyone else and not be obnoxious about it. But anyway, My Little Pony, The Crystalling, starts with Starlight getting into her new job as Twily's new apprentice. And lesson number one from the Princess of Friendship is reuniting Starlight with her oldest friend, Sunburst. And that's super convenient, cause he lives in the Crystal Empire. And Cadence has just delivered... Hasbro's newest branded product. Uh, yeah. So the whole gang trots up to the north for the kids' crystalling. This is an ancient rite where the collective joy of the Crystal Ponies at this precious gift of new life is absorbed by the Crystal Heart. But there's a problem. You see, Alicorn Baby Flurry Heart is just so gosh darn OP that her cries shatter the Crystal Heart. And without it, the entire Crystal Empire is threatened by the freezing weather of the North. The guy who sells snow chains must be jazzed. Meanwhile, over at the B-plot... Now it turns out that Sunburst didn't exactly live up to his super awesome potential. And then Starlight has to come clean about her whole time-traveling villainy thing. But fortunately, just as Icy Doom is approaching, it turns out that Sunburst, the shut-in bibliophile, knows the right combination of spells to fix the Crystal Heart and save the day. And so the episode ends with Flory Heart's crystalling and a visit from Grandma and Grandpa, who have voices now. Okay, I'm going to confess something right now. I find the progeny character archetype particularly annoying. So Flurry Heart was always going to bug me to some extent. But honestly, I think her execution is also poorly done. Flurry Heart is basically the villain of this episode. Now, if a villain has enough redeeming qualities, they can be likable and enjoyable to watch. Like a sense of humor, cool powers, or interesting motives. But Flurry Heart has only one redeeming quality. She's cute. And sorry, that's just not enough for me to like her. Alright, now let's talk about what she is. Flurry Heart was born in Alicorn. This is an event which is unprecedented, according to this episode. And the only explanation we get is a blank, I don't know, from Celestia and Luna. Seriously, Private, did you really think those two were gonna be helpful? A guy can dream. Now, even if Flurry Heart being born in Alicorn is a major plot point that'll pay off later... The lack of explanation undermines the episode I'm watching right now. Okay, let's look at the best part of this two-parter. Starlight and Sunburst. First off, I like Sunburst. He's a likable sad sack, and I'm glad to see that someone else got to be the hero this time. Now for Starlight. MLP has taken an interesting approach with what to do with Twilight's increasing status. They let her be the mentor to a new Twilight, and I think that's a really good choice. It lets Twi grow up. And it's a great use of last season's villain. Now, it would have been easy for Starlight to just be Twilight, personality-wise, as the two have a lot in common. They're both magically gifted and highly intelligent. But I'm happy to say that Starlight is her own person. Twilight is usually very wide-eyed and sincere, while Starlight is... Uh, how do you say it? Charmingly duplicitous. Yeah, that's it. Her scenes with Spike really get that across. Basically, she distracts him from helping her complete her assignment by playing to his ego. I also like that Spike and Starlight come off more like equals than Twilight and Spike do. Finally, the art design has some nice touches in this episode. First off, Starlight has a cool new hairstyle. When the Crystal Heart goes off, I like that they did more with the male pony designs rather than just make them sparkly. And even if she's annoying, Baby Flurry Heart is pretty cute. Okay, now it's time to break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, The Crystalling. On the good side, the B story involving Starlight and Sunburst is great. Twilight is coming into her own as a mentor, and the art style is well done. On the downside, I find Baby Flurry Heart quite annoying. She causes all of the problems and brings nothing to the table. And the explanation, or lack thereof, behind her existence is pretty lame. This season opener is a mixed bag, so I give My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, The Crystalling, a 3 out of 5. Now, if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.